Okay, everybody, what we're gonna do is we're gonna clean this sidewalk and the, uh, the driveway with uh, pool chlorine. You can see how dirty it is, right? First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna blow it off with a leaf blower, get it nice and clean, all the uh, leaves and stuff. But I just wanna show everybody what it looks like before we start. So here you go, here's the uh, driveway. Here's the other sidewalk. We're gonna do it down to the next house. Then we're gonna come over here. Take a look at the sidewalk leading up to the house front door. Now, most people think you need a pressure washer to do this, but you really don't. We're gonna go ahead and spray it with an air, a pump up sprayer and uh, you'll see the difference. So we'll be back. Okay, so we're getting ready to start spraying the uh, chlorine on the sidewalk. And basically what I use is a pump up sprayer. And you'll see over here, it's got a handle on it that you just keep pumping instead of those little pump up sprayers because it would take you forever to use one of those. This uh, sprayer's got a really nice nozzle, a nice extension, and uh, you're gonna see that I'm gonna be using straight liquid chlorine, just like what you put in your pool. Now, these are two gallon jugs, and they cost about five bucks a gallon, so $10 per jug. I'm probably gonna use two jugs, which is about 20 bucks to clean all my sidewalks and the driveway. So we'll be back in a minute. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit these really bad spots. You can see how nice and evenly that sprays on there, right? Let's give it a good soaking. And you're gonna see in a couple of minutes, as a matter of fact, you can see right before your eyes, eats that mold right up. So we're gonna come back in a couple of minutes and just take a look at that. We're gonna hit it again, but I just wanna hit the really bad spots first. Okay, here we are, we're back. Just want to show you how nice and clean it came. I had to uh, hit the bad spots a second time. You'll see that it's still drying. When it gets all the way dry, where you see it, where it's white, the whole sidewalk will be white. So another thing I forgot to mention too, if you have any weeds, the bleach will also kill the weeds. So instead of hiring a a pressure wash guy would probably charge you $100 or more. Grab yourself some chlorine and get yourself a sprayer. And uh, you can knock this out in no time. We'll be back because I'm getting ready to do the, uh, the driveway next. And there it is the before again. We'll be back, thanks. Okay, here we go. I already did some, but you can see when you do the driveway, you can do a pretty wide swath. We'll be back in a minute. I'm going to show you when I'm done. Okay, let's not forget the uh, pool and the patio deck. You know, you can do these pavers too. The pavers. And remember, it kills all the weeds. And by the way, I think I forgot to tell everybody, I don't dilute this with water. 
I use straight chlorine. It does the trick. If you diluted it with water, you'd probably have to do it twice. And we'll be back. Okay, so we're all done. Here's the driveway. See, it's nice and clean. Sidewalk. Entrance way to the house. And you'll see it's a still a little wet in a couple of spots, but as it uh, the concrete dries, it'll all turn white. There you have it. Just want to give you another quick look the other way around. And there you go. So here's the uh, the pavers. You can see it's still a little wet, a little wet. But you see the light spots. Once it's dry, those white spots go away. And here you are. See the white spots in here also, or the uh, wet spots. There you go.